Hi, it's uh, Nick from ViaEngines.com. Uh, just showing you uh, a charging Dynastart check. This happens to be a Via 12. You see, it's got a bigger pulley than the smaller type, the Via 7. That's important because the Via 7 pulley, which is about 70 millimeter diameter, is uh, a slower revving engine. So it needs to get the Dynastart up to about 4,500 RPM before it charges. So because the Via 12 is a high revving engine, it has this 100, 110 mil pulley. So it, being faster crankshaft revs, doesn't over rev the Dynastart. So that's why you've got two different pulleys there. Now I've got this connected up uh, properly, and I've also got here a clamp meter to measure amps and a voltmeter on the battery. Uh, I've also got an ammeter built into my little system here, so I'll energize the system, start it up, and you should see there we've got uh, almost no current here until you rev it. I'll give it a little rev, you see immediately we're going up to about 7-8 amps digitally and the important thing is the voltage is increasing it's got 13 and a half here if I let the revs go down 13 volts which is what the battery and I haven't got the battery charger on I'll stop the engine so that is a good dyna start um, another way you can test these without if you think you've got a suspicious regulator is to disconnect the two wires here the um, DF wire which I've got in yellow which is the forward small one and the D plus wire and you can put an earth between the chassis of this and DF while it's running just for a second and measure the output on the D plus pin that should go to about 16 volts if it's revving up and that tells you the diner starts okay it must be the regulator if you want more details let me know also this is an old type regulator it's got the starting solenoid built in on these three terminals and nowadays uh, these are defunct because they're electromechanical I have a solid state one which is increased performance on the regulator and reliability no moving parts but uh, we have a separate solenoid so this is the old combined unit I've got here doesn't really matter but the important thing is the measurements so this is Nick at ViaEngines.com Please uh, go and have a look on the website if you want any of these new regulators or parts or you can message me from there. Thank you.